Uh, we're sort of in, so incredibly uh, excited uh, at, at the potential of maybe uh, getting to to uh, to work here in Australia one day. Is that I think uh, there's like some profound uh, relationships between uh, Denmark and uh, uh, and Australia. And actually, uh, I've had a chance to meet uh, 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 Crown Princess Mary uh, once or twice, and she doesn't only have a great taste in. Uh, and princes, uh, also in uh, in architecture, in my own humble opinion, Sydney is really like the mecca of uh, of, uh, of Danish modern architecture, because uh, like Utsun hardly built uh, anything in uh, in Denmark, uh, but of course he did the uh, uh, the design for the Sydney Opera. So um, as you can see, like even though um, a lot of our work is actually privately commissioned, uh, including uh, this last project. Uh, the sort of the whole relationship with the public, the public realm, the public imagination, uh, public space, is uh, is a major driving force in uh, in how we approach uh, architecture and uh, and urban planning. So when we got invited to do a, a, a kilometer long urban space uh, right next to our office, we thought it was going to be clear that this project was going to be all about uh, public participation and sort of a, a, a creating a, a sense of ownership. Urbanistically, we just made it to consist of what we call the red square. Uh, where everything is made out of shades of red. The black market, where everything is black. Uh, and then the black market sort of rolls over into the green park, where everything is, uh, is green. Um, and within this sort of uh, rather simple layout of the different uh, uh, urban spaces, we, uh, we sort of thought to reach out to the sort of global diversity of the local neighborhood asking everybody to nominate elements from their other home country. Some years ago, we were invited to look at, uh, at Slusen in Stockholm, which was the sort of, uh, sort of node of, uh, of spaghetti. It was uh, built in 1935 and was seen as the state-of-the-art answer to what was believed to be the, the biggest urban challenge of the time, the successful integration of motor vehicles into uh, European cities. Uh, as a result, it is amazing uh, for the connectivity of cars, but as you can see, it's also like a no man's land uh, for everybody else. It's like almost impossible to pass as a pedestrian, uh, and, uh, and it has really become sort of a, a severing uh, southern Stockholm from, uh, uh, from the historical downtown. So we propose to sort of almost inverse the relationship to bring public life out to the water and subordinate the, uh, the cars. Uh, so instead of having an infrastructure for cars, we thought the solution could become an infrastructure for public life. What we propose is to sort of superpose uh, a new public layer to sort of uh, 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 muffle the, the noise, uh, to sort of uh, create a series of incisions that create openings uh, towards the water, allowing all of the stations to, uh, to open directly onto uh, uh, onto the water, so when you arrive at the bus station or the train station, you actually look straight out at the at the at the key. Then we start sort of uh, connecting uh, this new uh, public domain uh, to the surrounding city. Um, so that leads me to the uh, the biggest project we're doing uh, today. Uh, we got uh, commissioned by the ten municipalities of Metropolitan Copenhagen. Uh, to look at making a, a sort of a, a long-term uh, master plan, uh, 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 coinciding with a plan, the political plan to, to make a new train line that would connect the 10 municipalities. And we thought, if we want to make a future master plan for, for Greater Copenhagen, we can't just look at the, at the outskirts of Copenhagen, we can't just look at Denmark, we have to look also at the other side uh, of the bridge between Denmark and Sweden. You have Malmö and Lund which uh, together constitute the most prosperous and densest populated uh, area in, uh, in Scandinavia. Um, and just by adding a small uh, uh, five kilometer bridge, uh, uh, we can actually turn it into a single uh, metropolitan loop uh, where no area will be further away than 40 minutes uh, by public transport. And the main idea is to not just make a master plan for public transport or for a highway system, but also a smart grid that combines the hydroelectricity of Sweden with the wind power of Denmark, a waste management system, a water management system, a resource management system. And the idea is to not plan each different element on its own, but that the infrastructure is always integrated with the uh, urban densification, 
commercial and cultural and educational institutions. So it's really integrated part of the, of the master plan. And as the first sort of specimen of this sort of idea of a fully integrated uh, social infrastructure, if you like, uh, is, a, is a project we're doing uh, on the waterfront of, uh, uh, of Copenhagen. Um, uh, it's almost the same location as the, as the Sydney Opera, but it, uh, it's not an opera. It's a power plant that makes electricity and heating out of trash. So we thought, how can we turn a public amenity out of what would otherwise be a big box that blocks the view and cast shadow on its neighbors? Uh, we thought, uh, in Denmark, we have uh, snow, uh, but we have absolutely no mountains. So all we have to do is design the, uh, the roof so it's a continuous slope. Um, then we put uh, an elevator. Instead of making sort of a visitor center where school teachers can drag the children and force them to listen to how trash turns into energy, uh, there's uh, an elevator that takes you to a green, a blue, and a black ski slope. Uh, so miraculously, we won the competition based on this idea. Uh, so from 2016, you have to look out for the Danes in alpine skiing, because now we can actually practice.